All right, now we're looking at applications for translating words into inequalities. In this problem, we're told that Angie has $20 to spend on juice boxes for her son's preschool picnic, and each pack of juice boxes can cost $2.63. What is the maximum number of packs that she can buy? So again, what are we looking for? Well, first off, we're looking for, stated right here in this last sentence, the maximum number of packs that Angie can buy. So let's define that as a variable. We'll let p for packs equal the number of packs. So what are we told? We're told each pack costs $2.63. So $2.63 per pack times the number of packs is at most the amount of money that Angie has, which is $20. Now, how do we translate that into an inequality? Well, 2.63 times the number of packs. The number of packs we defined as P is, is equals, at most, $20. So, at most, that means less than or equal to $20. It can be $20 because she has $20, so that's why we include the equal sign. But it can't be any more than that, so it has to be less than or equal to 20. So if we divide each side by 2.63, we get P is less than or equal to, that value is 7.6. Now she can't buy part of a pack. Uh, that's not indicating the problem, so we have to round down to the next lowest whole number so Angie can buy up to at most seven packs now we can check this solution by making sure she has enough money so seven packs times two dollars and sixty three cents per pack is eighteen dollars and forty one cents that is less than twenty dollars so she has enough to buy those. So let's check one above that. 8 times $2.63. That equals $21.04. Which would be too much since she only has $20. So this verifies that Angie can buy 7 packs or less. Up to 7 packs of the juice boxes.